All right. Uh, yes, indeed. A big interview. Thank you very much, Angela, because today here in Iowa, the high stakes caucuses kick off at seven o'clock tonight with Republican candidates pushing to make crucial headway against Donald Trump, who is leading. Key endorsements coming in the 11th hour, including for our next guest, Nikki Haley, who now has the support of former Maryland governor Larry Hogan, who a lot of people thought was going to run for president. And join us right now on this busy day, presidential candidate Nikki Haley. Governor, Ambassador, Nikki, good to have you. It's great to be here. It's go time. It's great to be here, but you have never been in weather this cold. It is cold. It is cold. But you know what? Iowans are not deterred by this from everything we've seen. They plan on getting out. They plan on caucusing. And we're not deterred either. We're going to be out there in the snow until the very last second trying to earn every vote. And in fact, you know, we've made a lot about how cold it is and the worry. But if you say that you're not hearing from your precinct captains and whatnot uh, and getting out the vote, you must be pretty confident. You know, I've talked to them because I, I don't know how a caucus goes. You know, this is yeah. my first caucus, too. And I've asked them, that, what's the feeling on the ground? How do you feel? And they all say that people are determined to get out and vote. So while it's cold and right. while we know they need to layer up, they need to bring their photo ID, um, they need to be prepared to stay for a bit, I think they're ready to do it. They get the fact that this is their responsibility to set the tone for the country. One of the things that I've talked to my relatives here in Iowa about is they want somebody who can beat Joe Biden, uh, my relatives who are Republican. Uh, and so they look at electability. And I know last week there was a poll that showed that you beat Joe Biden by 17 points. Uh, there's a new CBS poll that came out yesterday. You beat Joe Biden by eight. Uh, Donald Trump beats him by two. Ron DeSantis beats him by three as well. So all the Republicans beat uh, Joe Biden, but you have an edge. And there, it's all within margin of error. In most of those polls, you know, you see that they're barely beating Joe Biden. We beat him by double digits. Mm-hmm. And Steve, what that means is that's bigger than the presidency. That's truly getting our country back on track. That's a double digit mandate going into D.C., making sure that we get our economy back under control, reduce inflation, get our kids reading again, going right. back to the basics in education, securing our border once and for all. No more excuses. Law and order back in our country and a strong America that we can be proud of. We can't have a president Kamala Harris. Our country won't survive it. We can't have a nail biter of an election next November. If you elect me in this caucus today, I'll be the one that defeats Joe Biden and we'll get our country back on track. Um, I, I'm sure you saw Mark Cuban had a wonder, uh, uh, posted something on X and said, I wonder if there are any crossover voters. Are you hearing from Democrats or independents that if you make it to the general or it, if, if a state has an open election like New Hampshire does, Democrats and independents are going to give you a boost? We've actually heard from a lot of people, mostly Republicans and independents, a few Democrats. And what and look, I think that's exactly what the Republican Party needs to be doing. I have said to them a long time, we've got to grow the tent. We need everybody. Republicans have lost the last seven out of eight popular votes for president. We shouldn't be proud of that. We need to win the majority of Americans. That's why I defeat Joe Biden. I'm conservative. But the, the tone at the top matters. The ability to get things done matters. And people are tired. Mm-hmm. I don't want my kids to grow up like this. Yeah. Neither do anybody else. They want the chaos to stop. And when you see the number of people who've never caucused before that are coming out for the first time, right. or Republicans or independents or even Democrats who say, none of us want Trump-Biden rematch, that's why they're coming to us. That's why I think we're the only one moving up in the polls and everybody else is going down. I was talking to one of my aunts, I'm not going to give her name, uh, yesterday on the phone, uh, and I asked who she liked, and she said, well, you know, I voted for Trump a couple of times. Uh, but I really would like to hear more from Nikki Haley. So, you know, I've heard that from a number of people. You're getting a lot of buzz here. And the thing about the caucuses is some people actually show up tonight. They still haven't decided. So your, your surrogates who are there in the high school gyms and the church basements and stuff like that, that they could actually close the deal in a profound way for you. No, they could. And look, I mean, the one thing we've spent the last 11 months shaking every hand, answering every question, being the last person to leave. And we've built relationships with Iowans and they get this. They get that this is important. We're going to make sure that we give them that message till the very end. All right. Uh, Since you're here, uh, would you like to look at camera two right there and tell the people of Iowa why they should say, yep, Nikki Haley. We don't need to have four more years of chaos. 
I'm an accountant. I know what it takes to get the economy back on track. I've been a double digit. I've been a two term governor that took a double digit unemployment state and turned it into an economic powerhouse. I dealt with Russia, China, Iran, North Korea every day. I know what it means to put them on their heels and prevent war and protect Americans. This is a chance to reset. This is a chance to set the tone going forward so that our kids and grandkids have a life that they can be proud of. We can do this. If you will join with me, if you will caucus, I promise you our best days are yet to come. And next up, New Hampshire. Thanks right. so much. Thank Great you, to Governor. see you. All right. Stay warm because it's the coldest Iowa caucus.